Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Reloves Tarot with Renee. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. This will be a, a reading for Capricorn. Capricorn, you were the, uh, I want to say, third runner-up uh, for the voting. Sorry, it took me a few days to get to your reading. You guys know we are in Mercury retrograde, and it is retrograding. It's, it's, it's retrograding, for real, for real. <laughs> so anyways yeah oh on the split look at y'all capricorn come right up mm. i am gonna pull my ado for this energy so we're just gonna get right into the tarot uh for you guys capricorn so divine spirit holy spirit please continue to give me um honest messages beyond the white light of tarot the oracle and the intuitive deck with the sign of capricorn someone rising venus north node first two cards out is a devil in three of pentacles you guys got somebody working against you. It's a team, possibly. The fool. Somebody's mad you're taking a leap of faith forward. Yep, and you're getting some truth and clarity about that. Yeah. So you guys, um, there you guys could have some real haters around you, Capricorns, or I don't know, this could be your energy. For some of you guys, you guys are the first card out. Sorry, that is this, that's your energy. Devil energy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate that for Capricorns. So I love me some Cappies. Anyways, um, but listen, we're going to play devil's advocate here because devil ain't always wrong. <laughs> listen, sometimes, um, and I mean wrong in a sense of you have choices is what I mean, okay? Because we don't, we don't resonate with the devil. But what I'm saying is, Sometimes you you're giving choices. Some are good, some are bad, and um, it's not the devil's fault if you choose to go down the wrong path, right? So yeah, we a lot of times we we blame the devil for a lot of things, and it'd be child. But you need not bring him or God up into this <laughs> type of energy. <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all. But listen, so there's I have a, the energy here on the board strictly. A double energy are there's people mad that yeah i feel that more of an energy there's people mad that uh you are moving forward having some type of forward movement and you're learning the truth about maybe some type of corruption or something like that with the devil card being the first card out you are who's ever in your energy take it out resonates um for most of you guys happy so i'm gonna just keep it above to be completely honest i don't feel like it's your energy even though the devil is you know just your reading but i don't feel like it's your energy i do honestly feel like it's multiple people plotting against you working against you um hating on you in some type of way all right let's see here clarify what's, what's going on here Give me, give me more. Yeah, you're winning. Yeah, King of Cups. For some of you guys, I feel like you're emotionally balanced. It flipped right out in reverse. Huh. King of, you could, hmm. King of Cups, the sun. Judgment. Somebody could be depressed at this time, this King of Cups that you're winning, having some type of victory. And this could be judgment. Uh, this this could be their karma, right? So whoever these, this third party, Three of Pentacles, this group of people, right? There's Three of Pentacles, somebody working together. This could be work, a group at work. This could be friends, family, a, a mixture of all three. Take it out, resonate. Um, or it, yeah, but somebody in this energy, King of Cups specifically, uh, Cancer's Pisces Scorpio is, um, like not so happy, uh, in a depressed mode with the sun in the reverse, uh, that you're getting some type of forward movement and actually, um, they find it to be a uh, very painful actually. Okay. So some type of strife, chaos, and mayhem has gone down and this connection could be with the family, fam uh, family member, queen of swords. We got a yeah, 10 of cups, clarifying the king of cups. So this definitely could be a family member, uh, father figure of some sort, uh, Capricorn. The painful ending with the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here on the board. And some type of truth come out, okay? 
Queen of Swords is about truth and clarity. And we do have the Ace of Swords here. Page of Pentacles. That you're getting some type of new offer. Okay. Or somebody is upset and very heartbroken. That you're moving forward uh, towards a Queen of, a queen of Swords. And uh, making some type of offer. Like this is painting them. Okay. I cannot make this up. This is painting them to no end. Okay. That you're having some type of forward movement with the Queen of Swords. You want to make an offer. You made a judgment call. I think you see people for who they are. And it's starting to come to light. Ace of Swords here. Uh, energy. I feel the energy as well as that. I feel like multiple people tried their damnness and their hardest to keep you away from the Queen of Swords in some way. And for some of you guys, I feel like you had some type of aha moment and struck some nerves here. Um, oh my goodness, Capricorn, what y'all got going on? Queen of Cups, not the mama and a daddy. So this could be a family situation. Um, you know what? There could be some type of religious beliefs as well. Um, when it comes to this Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, yeah, so the, listen, you guys could be really wanting to put some hard work towards your Queen of Pentacles. You can see this Queen of Swords. She's the first queen out um, as the Queen of Pentacles. But why is this here? Page of Swords. They're spying. They're watching you. Yep, Two of Swords. Seven of Wands. So you're defending this person. You're defending your person, okay? You could have got more information about a Queen of Pentacles. Could be a mother figure in this case as well. Because um, we do have a pair. We have a king and a queen on the board. Tells me this could be a married couple. Um, and it is right under with the Ten of Cups. Tells me it's a family uh, situation. Um, but you found out that they were doing... A lot of shady stuff possibly behind your back um, to keep you. Yeah, there it is, magician. Yep, doing magic tricks <laughs> to keep you away from your person, causing strife, chaos, and all kinds of mayhem um, to your connection and um, and try to cause you lots of burdens. You find yourself in the Seven of Wands energy here, defending yourself, defending your person. Okay, why is this Four of Cups? Hoping that um, that you would turn down an offer. Strength. Eight of Wands. Yeah, Leo energy. But they, but somebody, you were brave. You like, oh. You, re, so you found out about this deception. Yeah. Yeah, you were strong enough. You made an offer. Um, after finding out and, and you some quick communication came in with the seven of swords, okay, that somebody was lying, cheating, deceiving you, okay? It's definitely this family dynamic here that's going on. Eight of Cups, you're walking away. So some of you guys are walking away from a family dynamic in order to go towards your person. Queen of Swords is the first queen on the board. Um, this is who we're speaking of. Um, or this is the energy. It doesn't have to be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be anybody embodying the Queen of Swords energy. However, I feel like um, whatever this news or this information was, it was very um, deceitful. Um, I feel like somebody or whoever this is in your energy went out of their way to cause you lots and lots of problems. Yep. Yeah. Could have... Uh, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Tower. Yeah. <laughs> One more. Five of Cups. Some of you guys, this this deceit could have been over money. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is like family legacy to the Tower. This is something change. I feel like uh, for some of you guys, take a heart resonates, Capricorn. If you come from a wealthy background um, of any sort, I feel like because you walked away from the family, they they caused a tower to your inheritance. The reason why I say that is because you got the Ace of Pentacles. This is, you know, investments offers. Ten of Pentacles is, you know, legacy, family legacy. And the tower to the Five of Cups and just how the story is going is definitely regarding some type of um, family inheritance or something like that is what I feel. Um 
I feel like they could have held this over her head. Well, if you don't go, if you don't go, uh, be with the Queen of Swords, um, then you could keep your inheritance. We won't cut you out the wheel. We won't, you know, we won't cut you off. And I feel like y'all said f y'all and bounced. Yep. Uh, because you found out um, that they were just doing shady stuff, you know, behind the scenes to keep you from your person, um, you know, causing, um, maybe telling lies with the page of swords here, creating false information in some way. That's the energy I feel. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, three of wands. Yeah. And yeah, this was all to slow you down. Exactly. From traveling towards your person. Yep, this is all done just to keep you from traveling towards your person. I mean, they went, they, yep, and have you in the Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, now they're in the Eight of Swords energy. Give me more. Yep, Four of Pentacles. Three of Cups, third party. Holding on too tight, all up in your business. Yep, and now that's come to an end. Yeah, so you guys have to set a family situation straight and let them know what it is and what it ain't. Um, good for you, Capricorn, if this is your story, okay? They're in, um, you guys, whoever this family dynamic is that you're dealing with, they're in sheer regret right now, but let's be nosy and get into the intuitive deck, yeah. Attempting, yes, spirit whooping their ass royally. Let's do, do know that, okay? Yeah, big tears. Okay, because I felt like they did all of this and they didn't actually think that you would walk away, that you wouldn't leave the money on the table. Okay, that you, you know, I know that's right. You better go for your boo. Yeah, this had you in so much. I feel like they had you depressed at one point. Um, honestly, yeah. You know, this could, you know, Taurus energy could be dealing with the Taurus Capricorn. Just shuffle it back in here. I was pre-shuffled, but I still want to, yeah, recover. Yeah, they never could be you. Oof. Oof. Yeah, recover. So you guys are recovering at this time. Emperor energy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Attacking you out of jealousy. Yeah. So this family dynamic could have been really jealous of the Queen of Swords in some way. Um the the love that you shared, the love that they gave to you, or whatever the case may be. But there was a group of people, I, I don't feel like it was just more than your family. It was friends as well with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups here to the death. It was like multiple people really jealous of this connection that you had. Yeah, exactly. Attacking you out of jealousy. Attacking you out of jealousy. Uh, just real spiteful energy. The devil, I mean, the devil card being the first card out told me everything I need to know. Just moving ahead. Damn. All right. Let's, let's see what's going on. Capricorns. Yeah, somebody definitely lost their way. Hoping you fail. Sending you negative attacks. Clearly with the devil card being here. Lifelong plans that you had with your person. Um, but Or this group had lifelong plans to steal from you. They were all counterfeit. Sagittarius energy here. It's always something with this person or these people. Always some drama. Yeah, distorted energy. They they listen. This is why you got the eight of swords here. There was always in some distorted energy or had you in distorted energy for some of y'all. You know, if this is y'all and y'all was doing this to flip the roles, who's ever watching? Cross watcher, if you're walking watching for Capricorn, this is what's coming out. Believe in the unknown or the unseen. You're a chosen one. Okay, Capricorns. Oh my goodness, babies. If this is your story and is resonating with you, sound off in the comment field. Let Auntie Nay know what's going on. Ciao. Listen, yeah, you, you uh, this, I do get this energy. You guys, this was easy for you guys to walk away from this family and just start over and, you know, start from scratch with your person because they were unrelatable. They couldn't relate to you anyways, especially I, the Hierophant card didn't come out here. Um, I still, for some of you guys, it could be due to religious factors, but some of the majority, that's not what I'm going to, it's pure jealousy, views, watching you, powerless, yeah. Yeah, because you got the page of swords here. We know they're watching you, viewing you, you know, watching your story, watching your 
you know, just watching you. Yeah, mass destruction is here. Wow, this came out in the, um, what you call it reading I just did. What, what was that? Was that Gemini's reading? Yeah. In heavy despair. Hiding in the hurt and pain. Yeah, very sick. They're sick. Seeing the truth, you or them. Yeah, relationship goes. That, yeah, the child relationship goes. You and your, your queen of swords energy here or whoever your person is, um, is an anointed being. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, trying, yeah, trying to block your blessings. Hating. Hating all this jealous ass energy, hating on you, attacking you out of jealousy, trying to block your freaking blessings or whatever, right? Are you guys too? This the, the other energy I got here was you guys could be um being some made some type of major offer or something like that. And um, you know, that's going to you know, give you, provide you with generational wealth outside of this family, because not everybody's coming from a, a wealthy family. It's the other town, but the you know, but the people who did you dirty is regretting this, because now they're gonna they you walked away and you asked out. They can't ask you for shit. <laughs> to be honest, they can't. They can't ask you for nothing. Not at what is it, spirit? Yeah, open letter. Yeah, you will receive a huge payout. There it is. Yeah, so you guys got some type of huge payout coming. There it is, Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So I read it both ways. That is the energy I genuinely got, and I got it before these cards flip. So glad I got it before that. But yeah, open letter. So you guys got a letter or notice that um you guys are about to receive some type of good payout. Um, It could be a new job opportunity that's going to catapult you forward. You're going to be moving, you know, doing big things or whatever. And this family is sick about it. And these friends. A quest for self-knowledge and improvement. I know that's right. Yeah, they really failed. Uh, uh, it was a failed attempt for them um, to come after you, purposely giving you bad advice um, to try to keep you in distorted en energy. Um, jealous of your, you know, of your relationship when in reality your relationship goals. Um, yeah, this your soulmate. Okay. All right, Cappies, I'm going to just leave it there because at the end of the day, you're the victor in this. That's the energy for sure. All right. You are the victor. So I'm going to leave it here for the intuitive. Let's just see what the final outcome is. I don't know. I just got a good, a few, <laughs> a few more cards. Yeah, I'm not going to leave it there, there, but I'm going to leave it there for this, this section. We'll put these cards up. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know, we're in Mercury Retrograde. Be careful of the energies that you guys um have around you and you're even, you know, that you entertain, even if it is family members, because you know, sometimes, honey, they'll send you the worst attacks. And um you gotta protect your energy at all costs, okay? It's okay to deal with people with a long wooden handle spoon, you know, and not have them in your energy draining the entire shit out of you. <laughs> Listen. Listen, I promise you, Auntie Nae is saying it's okay. So it's spirit. <laughs> don't don't have no shame in your game um, when it comes to, um, you know, being in peace, living in peace. All right. Because some people, one thing they don't, they, and not everybody have peace in their life, you know, and they will definitely have you in the eight of swords right along with them. All right. Oh, child, stress of it all. Okay, let me pull these cards really fast. Get me to this deck over here. <laughs> all right, so I, it's, <laughs> you leaving them where they had you effed up at. I know that's right. <laughs> that's what I just heard. <laughs> Somebody was thinking that. <laughs> ah, come on, spirit. What's the potential outcome for my Capricorns? Seven rise of Venus. North node. You guys, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this Capricorn video so I can get out to other copies who um, can use um, this video for some reassurance. Right? If they not tripping. <laughs> you know, because some people are just wondering, is this the right thing I'm doing? If it brings you peace, absolutely. Yeah, there's your lover's card. Yep, Will of Fortune. <laughs> oh, now you got them. I want the money, money in the cars, cars in the... I'm going to say girls. 
I suppose. I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. That's Drake, y'all. Two of Wands. Yeah, for a movement, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're going with your with your baby. Yep, Will of Fortune. This is a faded event for you to have forward movement. Yeah. Yeah, with confidence. You guys are about to move with strong confidence, right? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the energy on the board. You or your person could have those, those signs in your chart. Gemini energy here with the levers. Yeah. Yeah, you're taking your fortune and your boo and y'all heading out into the sunset. Because look, you see the sun behind her? Listen, <laughs> listen, cappies. I know that's the heck, right? Period. Four of swords. Yeah, you laying out a goofy shit to rest as you should, because don't nobody got time for that. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Listen, exactly. This is your person, right? It's peaceful over here. You know, it says it on the card. Peaceful abundance. Queen of Pentacles, the lovers. She brings you peace. She peace. She gives you good love. All right, you know. Yeah, this is a rewarded sacrifice. Yeah, you sacrificed everything to be with your person to have mo for a movement to come out of this stuck energy. I get that. I know that's right. And what else? Eight of Wands, and you moving fast, honey. Yes, this is this is accelerate quickly. When I say y'all got y'all got about y'all got about the mix real quick, real quick. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, Hermit most. Yeah, so, so you went deep within. And, and you know, you like, I'm making this all for six of swords here. Yeah, and there's your six of cups. You're definitely going to have some beautiful reunion. And there's your ten of cups. Yeah, this person makes you happy. Absolutely. Four of wands. Ace of pentacles again. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It took a lot of patience. It take a lot of patience to come into this Nine of Pentacles. But you did it. You're doing it. And yeah, there's your victory and success. I told you you're going to be successful in this. Listen, you was like, nah, if I stay dealing, let me tell you something. Y'all, whoever these third party energies is, family, friends, all of them. D d d oof. This is some miserable baby bitches. I'm just serious. They would, you know, like, if you were ever talking to these people, like, especially, let's say that these are, like, friends that you're confiding in, family members, your mama and them, granny and them, whoever, and they would tell you everything the opposite. I wouldn't deal with the queen of swords. I, I wouldn't chat. Mm -mm -mm. I heard she was a floozy. Or I heard he was a, you know, he'd be just slanging wand everywhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? That type of energy and... There was just always gossip and spying, you know, causing chaos, strife, and mayhem behind the scenes, sending you the evil eye and negative energy, as you guys saw in the intuitive deck that came out. And it was something, it's just like, I feel like they're jealous of your person's beauty. You know, the Queen of Wands, very beautiful energy, very confident, very ambitious. And they, and they brought that out in you as well. Your person brought that out in you as well. And, you know, your person was... The reason why you guys wanted to stay with their person because it was everything that the people around you was not, which was honest, truthful. You know, Queen of Swords in the upright is very truthful, very honest, very, um, you know, about their business, about the people that they love. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, very loyal. And you found all of this in them that you did not find in your people. I mean, you thought you did at one point. And they all turned out to be snakes. And this is so unfortunate. I'm sorry you guys had to go through that. But at the end, you are the victor because you got the person in the love of your life who's going to stand by you and support you and be there for you. Right? So that's the most important thing. All right, Capricorns. I hope it resonates with you. Um, make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button if it did. Um, if you'd like to donate to the channel. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information is in the, uh, is in the description box below. I love you, babies. I'll see you on the next time. Bye.